you can leave this on. Yeah, 15 so minutes. I'm wearing them to the show. It's my new look. I look hot. I'm a sexy rock mama. We have a lot of fun together. You know? I, it's just a natural thing. We just start feeding off of each other. We whip ourselves into a frenzy of hysteria. We have uh, amazing chemistry together. Hi. <laughs> Tell her about me. How are you? Good to see you. Tell her how fun hey. he was looking. Tell yeah. her how fun. Little. Little. When he came in there. He was beautiful. Like nothing I've ever experienced in any other, with any other people I've worked with. So, and probably everybody else would probably say that because we've all played with different people and been involved in different um, projects over the years. But um, I don't know. I, we're really lucky as far as I'm concerned. We got super lucky. You know, sometimes that happens. So. I just feel really lucky to be working with those girls because we just have a blast. I was sitting between two mighty fine men just about an hour ago. What, me and Carol? No. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, no. Now my mom's going to see this and go, you did it again. You have to have sex on TV. I didn't. I was talking about hex. <laughs> Witchcraft. That was it? Yeah, that's it. Well, the first time we came here is in 1980 and we had no money. We landed in Newark, and we rented one of those rider box trucks with the completely enclosed box. Okay. And of course, there isn't room in the front for all seven of us, or seven girls. So some of the girls, including me, we had to like get in the back in the box with the equipment. Did and you wear back then? It was in August, and they were having a heat wave, and there it was literally airtight. And by the time like we got so to our destination, like we were almost dead, and it was pretty funny. And we were being all dramatic about it. You tried to kill us. That was our first trip to New York. I joined the band in '79. I think they'd been together about six months. And um, the Go Go's were a punk band. They weren't really a pop band at all. The last couple tours we we've done, and whoever was the drummer in the other band would would say to me. How do you play that fast for that long? You know? Our stuff is kind of fast. But not as fast as it used to be. Woo. I think the first time that I played with them, we played at Hong Kong Gardens. And um, <clears throat> it was in Chinatown, and we were supposed to, I think we were supposed to play like a 45 minute set. And um, I played so fast that it was done in like 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> the little one is now six. Mm -hmm. You can't she's show four foot two. Can't. She's not really that little, but no. she's really cool. Um, I'm not allowed to sleep. Part of my job description is the torture. <laughs> Work till midnight. Get up at four. You will obey. Happily. And we do, because we're the Go-Go's, and we're happy and nice. Ow! Fucker! When we made the first record, and Richard Goddard got involved, he the first thing he did was uh, tell us to slow the songs down because he thought the melodies were really good. This town is a town. It is so dangerous. <laughs> He just said, man, you guys have great songs, but I can't hear anything you're saying, and the melody's going so fast, and so we just slowed him down, basically. That was it. And that was it. But she is very artistic. She draws every day. She loves music. She listens to music all the time. Classic rock. I like an apology when you're doing the talking part. Yeah. I make my guitar go like all quiet and really dramatic. I know it's in here. And I'm like, choo, 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 choo. I've been playing a band since I've been about 15, so... I've, I've only had a couple real jobs ever. When I got out of, out of high school, I worked, I'm from, from Baltimore, so I worked, at, I worked in Maryland, Maryland National Bank. That lasted for five minutes. And then uh, I, I worked for uh, Social Security. That was a lot of fun. And uh, that lasted for five minutes. And so when I came to LA, I was 21, and um, drove out to LA, me and my best friend from high school, with $2,000 and everything I own in a, in a pickup truck. My dad gave me his pickup truck to put all my stuff in it. And when I came out to LA, I just uh, worked in a grocery store. <laughs> what? Remember, when we were accused of, of, we were accused of barber shoppery. Oh, yeah. And we had to stand trial. That's right. You have been accused of the high crime of barber shoppery. How plead you? I plead not guilty. 
That's great. It, it, maybe a light soften a little bit, because I think the eyes are too, I don't know. Yeah, Jane, see how it's all smoky? Oh, it's okay. It's fine. It's not I mean, so, you know, my line is totally defined, but I always want Yeah, she, no she does like a 50s line. Okay. So, you know, we play, we, we rehearse with the, the Go-Go's several times a week, then we play on the weekends usually, and um, we used to use used to use that, that uh, pickup truck to cart all the gear around L.A. It used to be the Beverly Hillbillies, you know. And uh, we'd, cart, we'd use that pickup truck, and we'd drive it up to San Francisco, play at Mabuhay Gardens and all that stuff. That was pretty wild. can't believe we're still alive. But then when we made our album here, and we all lived at the Wellington Hotel, it was so much fun. My most exciting thing that happened was one night we were coming home from a club, and it was really late, and we were really drunk. And these two hookers came up and started talking to us and being all friendly, and like, putting their arms over our shoulders, and I'm like, yeah, wow, I'm so cool, I'm hanging out with the hookers. And then the next thing I know, I realized they were actually stealing our wallets. And I'm like, hey, you stole my wallet, and I started chasing them down the street, and then they like, gave us this really evil look, and then they started chasing us, and we ran all the way home and dove, yeah, dove into the lobby of the hotel to yeah. escape from the main hotel. Right. Thank you. That was my big mugging in New York. Wait, can I use, I'm going to, now this pencil that you just used, can mm -hmm. I, can I do a little something here? Because the truth, mm-hmm, whatever. Uh, what? And then if, the, if you corner it too much, then your mouth will down. Well, you can round it up. Yeah. Dude. Is this true? Kathy went by Wheeler? You should have told me. What we should me. do is we should You got to be bossy and, with me. And... Take it off a little bit, then just like collect the glove. Who's Wheeler and who's Valentine? I think Valentine's mom. Is Valentine the mom's maiden name or married name? name? Kathy. What? I never knew any of that last name stuff. Valentine is my mom's maiden name. Okay. And when she divorced my dad, um, she she went back to her maiden name. And so did you. And then and, and so did I. Yeah. See, I didn't know that. I did know that. Ask me something else you don't know about me. <laughs> Wait, I don't know if I like this color. I know I'm being a little bit of a pain in the ass. No, it's, it's too harsh. That's what I said. You put the color yourself. Do you remember what color yeah, you I used to make? Because whatever it is is what I want for the color. Well, I mean, my main focus, especially because of this, I mean, with this band, I mean, is, is, is trying to stay really healthy. Traveling's really difficult, but I, I, don't get me wrong, I love it. Babe? Yeah? Um, I just arranged with Jim that the, the band's going to come back after us and uh, and pick up um, uh, Charlie and Chrissy and Jack. And, uh, you know what I mean? So they'll, they'll come back here and be back here by um, um, uh, quarter till eight. It's not good for me. I go through an entire thing in a month and it's 50. I'm not going to spend $50 a month on the foundation. You tell Doyle that there's a party after? Yeah, and then he said he can't think. He's been working hard all day and fired. We can do this later because yeah. it's not a big deal. I did it. <laughs> I said I did it. Yeah, see, they're not right. How's your mom? Good. She's seeing Tony Bennett tonight. She's in Atlantic City seeing Tony Bennett. Where? I don't know. Yeah, it's just like I. I just kind of like it. Oh, you didn't make up yourself? Before I play, I, I like to kind of do it myself. I mean, I'll, okay. I'll come in and have you. you know, Touch up, okay. I'm certainly not qualified to do anything else. What else could I do? It has to be something with music, you know. I, it's all I know. It's all I really. It's all I'm really passionate about. Is the bottom line, you know. That's really the truth. So, um, I know what I love. I guess that's a good thing. Some people spend their whole life trying to figure out what they want to do or what really moves them, and so I, I feel very lucky in that way, you know. You want a flat iron? Yeah, 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 I'm trying to draw. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to go out and you'd party every night. You'd go out and there'd be somebody there, you'd go hang out and, oh my God, my hair's so hideous. Rodney! I'm coming back.
Calm down. Don't look there yet. She's got me look like a foof head. Make this really short part there with the hair. Look, look at that. I look like Bozo. Give me a goddamn red nose. No, stop it. I'm not gonna leave you like that. Oh my gosh. Have mercy on me. Who's the clown behind Who's the drums? Yeah. Stop. stop. Who's the, who is the um, midget clown? Oh, that's Gina. It's Gina with the uh, uh, bozo hair, a uh, Prince Valiant bozo do. Thanks to Rodney, did stop. it? Don't give Gina the Meg Ryan. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. We'll fix it later. Yeah, it's gonna start I'll dropping. I'll walk around looking like a clown for a while. <laughs> All right, see you guys in a bit.